All right, this is just going to be a quick tutorial for how to enter data and assign groups in Jamovi. So when you open it, it should look like this. You do not want to start on this window because this is actually your data entry window. You want to come over here to your variables window. Okay. Now on your variables window, I always suggest starting with your first variable being student number because that just helps keep it straight. And then you can change your actual variable name to something like student number. And this is going to be an ID variable, okay? Because we're not actually going to use that to analyze anything. Then if you want to come over here and click B, I always make B my group, okay? For description, you can also put group. And this is going to be a nominal variable because this is where you're going to say, is it an experimental group or a control group? So over here on your levels, you're going to click add and I'm going to say zero and one. Okay. And I'm going to define zero as being my control group. And I'm going to define one as being my experimental group. Now, if you were doing an ANOVA or something with three groups, and maybe you were doing something like no exercise, morning exercise, evening exercise, if you were going to want to compare exercise on mood or something like that, you could keep going and adding more groups. Um, I'm just trying to get you the basics of data entry here. And then for C, let's say that this is going to be our test score, okay? Description, test score. And let's say that we are working with a test score that is a continuous variable, okay? So now that we have our actual variable set up, now we're gonna come over here to data. I'm gonna collapse this using my little up arrow so I have more room to work. So now we're gonna say that student number 498 was in our control group and had a test score of 56. Student number 621 was in our experimental group and had a test score of 97. And one thing you'll see with Jamovi that's different than PSPP or SPSS, since whenever I was creating my groups over here, I went ahead and labeled it and told it that, whoops, I don't know why it did that, but, and I told it zero was control and one was experimental. Over here on my data screen, as I'm entering zeros, it's changing it to control. As I'm entering ones, it's changing it to experimental. So that just makes it easier to do an at a glance and see what I'm doing. And I can just keep coming down on this. And I don't, again, I don't know why it, it changed up. That was some weird click function that I have never encountered before. But so student number 563 was in my control group and got an 84. So this is going to be your basics of data entry and setting up comparison groups in Jamovi.